Hey everybody, it's Mandy from Mandy Jean Chic, and sorry about my lighting. Um, I am actually finishing up my craft makeup room here today, so I'm having to film like the windows here, so the light's kind of coming across, but you know, it is what it is. But I apologize about the lighting, but I did want to film a first impressions video because I... I was just kind of in the mood to film. I'm taking a break from working on stuff around the house, so I just thought I'd film a couple videos here. But the first video I wanted to do was a first impressions of the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation, which this has been like all over YouTube. I picked one up when Walgreens was doing the buy one get one half off, and I just thought I would try it. It does say this is for oily to combo skin, and I do have dry skin, but sometimes I do get oily in my T-zone, but not enough to really call myself having combination skin, so, because it's, it's rare. But I, I wanted to try it, and I'm finally starting to get over this cold, so I'm like dying to try all these makeup products, because if I'm sick, I don't wear a lot of makeup, because I don't want to... I don't want to, uh, germs, again, me and germs, it, it just freaks me out. But, the, in the Maybelline Fit, the color I purchased is shade 130. This was kind of hard in the store to decide what color foundation to use, or to get for me, because I forget what the other number was, but it just, it looked a little bit darker. I want to say it was in like the twos. And I'm a MAC um, NW25, 20 to 25, depending on how tan I am. So I I thought this would work. It says, again, it's color 130 Buff Beige, which in other foundations, normally True Beige, Beige, Buff Beige, Sand Beige usually work for me. So that's kind of what I went with for this. But this is the container, what it looks like. It is, it says it's 0.32 ounces of product, and it says shine-free foundation with anti-shine core, that's basically it, and it comes in like a tube, which obviously that's the uh, anti-shine core. Um, I've watched a few videos on how other other gals are putting this on and I'm going to do like a true first impressions I don't, I don't have any primer on I haven't moisturized extra anything like that I'm just going to kind of go with it so let's see what happens I do think that if I do like this the fact that it comes in a tube would be really convenient for like for travel This is definitely, definitely too dark for me. Unless it like blends out. Okay, definitely I like the application better with when you put it on and then you buff it out with a brush. This is the Sigma F80, the flat top kabuki. It's definitely a matte foundation. Um, I don't feel shiny. It has a nice feel to it. You know, I said it was too dark, but now that I've actually kind of moved it around on my face, I don't think it's too dark. I actually think it blends pretty well. It's actually not bad. I like the fact that the coverage is buildable. I also feel like I don't think I would really need a concealer for concealing, highlighting yes, concealing no with this because it does have such a buildable coverage. My first impression of the Maybelline Shine Free is that it's a nice foundation. Um, you know, like I said, it's creamy, it's blendable, it's buildable. I think it would be perfect for traveling because just putting it on now, um, I don't really feel the need 
to really put on any concealer on top of it. Um, and my nose is like always the reddest part. And uh, something else that I'm like really impressed with is it filled in my pores. I do have pores where I use Benefits Pore Professional or um, what's the other one? By NYX. I use that one too sometimes. And I don't feel like I need to, that I needed that. But we'll see. You know, when I do my full review, I'll wear it a day with a with a primer, and then I'll wear it a day with my Benefit Professional, and see like you know if it helps with the staying power. But this is just my first impression, and so far my first impression is is I really like this. So we'll see. But if you enjoy my first impressions video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.